Well, the robots have arrived, at least in Pasadena, California. That's where the world's first ever fully autonomous AI-powered restaurant has opened, complete with burger-flipping bots. We sent CBS's Joy Benedict on a taste test. Now in the suburbs not far from Tinseltown, the dream of an AI restaurant is already cooking. It's called Cali Express in the heart of Pasadena. Is this the first time we've seen all this technology in one place? Absolutely. Vic Golick is in charge of the newest business on the block, a burger joint which brings a bunch of food making robots into one cafe. For this burger, it would take about 120 seconds. There's a grill robot by Kachina and Flippy by Miso Robotics frying everything else. No human chefs needed. We can't get enough people to come out to work on fryers and, and grills and their dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues that we're having. Rob Anderson is a co-founder of Miso Robotics, which started working on Flippy, the fry maker, six years ago. <laughs> I mean, this is your baby. That, oh, it's super cool. The machine is already at work in some restaurants like White Castle and Jack in the Box. Flippy's really good at doing repetitive tasks, which is just operating the fryer in those dangerous environments. And that way, the people uh, who work in the restaurant can focus on those human elements. Is it costing people their jobs? That's uh, not what we've seen. Um, uh, it's really here to, to help people. Flippy can make 250 pounds of French fries an hour. <laughs> The burger bot, 100 patties, all without needing a break or a day off like its human counterparts. These restaurants are very, very busy at peak times and every second that gets added to somebody waiting in drive through is, is a lost revenue opportunity for that restaurant. But it's not just tech chefs. A cheeseburger. The ordering system is powered by artificial intelligence too, oh, no using problem. facial recognition yeah. software. And there will be humans here too, putting the finishing touches on your meal. But Cali Express plans on only staffing two back of the house employees, a fraction of what it would take to run a non automated kitchen. This is the start of a revolution that's happening on the restaurant side. Dan Ives is an analyst for Wedbush Securities. Statistics show that 62% of restaurants report being understaffed, and 82% of restaurant jobs could be handled by robotics. We expect uh, by 2025 that we're probably going to have one to 200 restaurants that will be primarily AI focused. And in a state where the minimum wage for most fast food workers will soon be $20 an hour, less people to pay can be a bonus for businesses. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more focus on spending on AI. Because look, that's inflationary. That's the problem. You can't necessarily pass all that to the consumer. It does reduce some jobs, but there's so many more jobs that are created with the technology. And as for taste? Is it going to affect the quality and the taste? I would say yes, in a good way, because now each burger is being cooked precisely the same way every time. Only time will tell whether robots take over all kitchens, but watching the first of its kind come to life is a tasty technical treat and another AI debate worth chewing on. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Joy Benedict, Pasadena, California.